This industry is just exploding here in Florida. Every time you turn your head, there is a new craft brewery. There are about 200 of them in the entire state. So a craft brewery has to have three things. It has to be small. That's from the Brewers Association. The company makes 6 million barrels of beer or less a year. It also has to be independent. Less than a quarter of the craft brews are owned or controlled by a company that's not a craft brewery. And it's also considered traditional. The majority of its total beverage alcohol volume is in beers. The flavor derives from traditional or innovative brewing ingredients and their fermentation. No flavored malt beverages. And there are some labels that you probably know, like Sam Adams. Some of the other big brews you might consider craft are actually owned by really big beer companies. Blue Moon is owned by Miller Coors. And then you have Anheuser-Busch that owns a little more than 30% of Kona Brewing. Magic Hat, not craft, owned by North American Breweries. It can be confusing, but craft beer companies are coming together to make sure that you know exactly what you're buying. Din News reporter Grady Trimble shows you how they're doing that. This is the first ever delivery at the new location of Lakeland's Beer Rev. Owner Mike Dodge is still stocking the shelves at the store after it outgrew the old place, a testament to how popular craft beer has become. I think people are just excited and want to have new flavors. Dodge says it's important craft brewers stay true to who they are, local, independent companies. Definitely big beer has been buying up. You know, it's kind of that if you can't beat them, own them. You can see why it's hard to tell the difference between a beer that looks like a craft beer but is actually owned by a big company and a genuine craft beer. That's why the Brewers Association is putting out this new logo. Dozens of craft brewers have already agreed to put the seal on their bottles to make it clear they're the real deal, including Coppertail Brewing Company in Tampa. We have to work harder, but you have to educate people on what they're actually buying, who's making the beer, who owns the beer, where they're truly located. At Coppertail's tasting room, customers like the idea. I want to make sure that somebody's putting time and work into it and that it's not getting funded by somebody who doesn't really give a crap about the beer. It's nice to know when I can support the little guys and make it easier to support the little guy. So whether they're making it, buying it, or selling it, craft beer lovers agree. If everybody can get on board, you know, if all the small guys can get on board with this, I think that could be a, a big thing. They want to see the label on the bottle so people know what's in it. In Lakeland, Grady Trimble, 10 News. Cigar City Brewing founder, he's on the Brewery Association's board. He helped come up with the idea for the new seal and plans to put it on their beers as well.